A quick word on the Tasmanian election. What a predictable shambles. A combination of the hair clerk system, compulsory preferential voting and the pathetic state of both our major political parties means the Liberals will have to cobble together some bizarre minority government with the support of independent politicians and the unlikely senator who has candidates running there under her name. It comes down to trust. Trust is the magic word here. OK, we're all adults. I don't care what flag you fly under. What I want to see first and foremost is them putting Tasmania first. Dear, oh dear. Government by personal brand, government by catch cries and platitudes. While those of us north of Bass Strait might think, well, that's Tasmania's problem. They voted for that mess and they can suck it up. Well, fair enough. But my point is that this is just a taste of what could be coming federally. The latest news poll today has Labor just hanging on to the narrowest of margins in the two-party preferred count, putting Anthony Albanese dangerously close now to fail, falling the, the wrong side of this boast. We haven't lost a news poll since I've been Prime Minister. Yeah, Mr Prime Minister, you have not quite lost a news poll yet. What we can see in our increasingly polarised and policy-free political debate, driven by compulsory voting and compulsory preferences, is the rise of fringe parties and boutique independents like the Teals. And all this means there is every likelihood we could have a Labor minority government reliant on the Teals and or the Greens after the next election. If that's the case, everything in this nation will get a lot, lot worse before it gets better.